What's going on? Welcome to another vlog with your boy Chris. Welcome back to the channel if you're new. Welcome to the channel if you're not. Welcome back. I hope you are doing well. I hope you enjoyed the last one. Got some good feedback on it. Like always, hit the like button, smash the subscribe, turn on your bell notifications, and let's talk about why no company is better than bad company. And it's true. No company is better than bad company. I'm a person that's very sensitive to people's energy. I'm very sensitive to my surroundings. I'm very sensitive to even just conversations with people. So I have to be, I'm gonna use myself as an example throughout most of this. I have to be very aware of the people I keep in my company. I have to be very aware of the places that I go. I have to be very aware of the people I even converse with, whether it's in person or on the phone or on text or on an email, whatever the case is. Everything carries energy. Energy is transmitted very easily. And if you're not aware of your surroundings, the energy around you, you, this is why a lot of times like people are like constantly, they feel constantly drained. They feel constantly down. They're lazy. They have no energy because they might be in bad company, right? They might be with people that are literally sucking their energy. There's such thing as energy vampires and those people, whether they do it intentionally or not, they're constantly draining your energy. They're constantly feeding off your energy. This is why if you go somewhere, you're in a public setting, you may not even realize that you're sensitive to people's energy <clears throat> or that you're around the wrong people, but you'll leave a public setting and you'll be perfectly fine before you get there. And then when you leave, you're just mentally drained, you're tired, you're constantly yawning. Uh, you might have a headache, whatever the case is. And this is just to do with Again, people may not even know that they're doing it, but there's a lot of energy vampires out there. There's a lot of people that just want to feed off your energy, especially if you're a positive person. There's people that do it intentionally. They want to suck the life out of you, literally. They want to be able to manipulate you and take your energy and, and take your strength away from you because if you do that, then you're vulnerable and you're, you're a lot easier for them to, to feed off of, right? So I, this is why I keep my circle very small for other reasons as well, obviously, but it's one of the main reasons why I keep my circle small. This is one of the main reasons why I don't go to random places. I try to avoid social gatherings, especially with people that I don't really know. Uh, this is why I try not to go to places where I may not feel comfortable or I know I'm not gonna be comfortable. I, I, I'll never allow myself to be forced anymore to go to somewhere to please someone else, right? Like if they want to go and they're asking me to go and I don't want to go, well, they can just go on, the, on their own or they can just not go. Like they have the option, but I don't, just don't feel forced to go to places that no longer are places I want to go, places I want to be with, with company that I want to be. Not only that, never mind energy, there's a saying that you, whether it's you hang out with five losers, you'll end up being the sixth. You hang out with five broke people, you'll end up being the sixth. The company that you keep is very important because they will, again, the company you keep is going to be a, a dictation of how, is that the word? Maybe, maybe not. It's going to be an example or, or um, an influence as to where you head in life, right? If you're hanging out with five people that are not doing anything with their life, you might be the most motivated person ever. You know, you click it, you, you click with this one person and then you start hanging out with their group of friends. Or maybe it's like a high school group of friends or a group of friends that you grew up with, whatever the case is. And these people aren't on the same path as you. When you hang out with too many people like that, you're going to end up being like them instead of continuing to go down the path that you're on. This is why, again, it's better to be with no company than bad company. A lot of you that have been around on this channel and that have watched majority of my videos or all of my videos maybe already know that. I, when I got into trading, I cut off everyone. I had to because I'll never forget it. When I first got into trading, everybody laughed at me. Literally, everyone thought it was a joke. They said, ah, you're not, you can't do that. You can't do this, blah, blah, blah. You can't lose weight. Everyone would try to like stop me from trying to lose weight and become healthy instead of like being like, oh, you're my boy. Like, you know, I'll go do it. You can achieve whatever you want. I was around the wrong group of people. And I literally, I'll never forget. I showed up one day to where we all used to hang out. And I just sat there and was just listening to the conversations that they had. And even like while I was still friends with them, I was always the more quiet one. And I just kept to myself because I was always just being like present and being aware as possible to the conversations that they were having, like what it was about, the context that it was in. They would be talking bad about each other when one person wasn't there. Everyone would talk bad about that person. 
when another person that was there the day before talking bad about the other people wasn't there the next day they would all talk bad about him so obviously if like if i'm not there they're probably doing the same thing about me right so it was just energy i didn't want to be around and nothing not bad people nothing wrong with them personally it just wasn't that wasn't where I wanted my life to head. That wasn't where I saw myself, the direction I saw myself heading. And unfortunately I had to go from having a group of friends that I hang out with on a daily basis to literally no friends. I cut off everyone in two different groups. There was two different like cities that I used to like. I lived in one and I would go back to the other one that I lived in before to go and hang out with those friends. And I also had a group of friends in the city that I was living in and I just cut everyone off. I locked myself at home. I focused on eating healthy, I focused on working out, and I focused on learning my craft, which was trading. I just, I locked myself in my room, and that's that, and slowly but surely, I started connecting and networking with people that were on the same path. Maybe they weren't, some of them were ahead of me, whether it was in trading or not even really in trading. I never really had interest in connecting with people in trading. But whether they were entrepreneurs or they had their own business or an online business or they were just influencers or they had success in whatever their industry is, I just started connecting and like putting little pieces of the puzzle together and, and, and networking and connecting with the right people that would motivate me and push me and send me messages like, yo, go like, go kill your day, bro. Like, have a good day today. Or I'd wake up to messages like, yo, have an awesome day today. Like, or like, even if we didn't talk for a few weeks, like, yo, I'm so proud of you. You're doing amazing, blah, blah, blah. Just having the right company and being influenced by people that are either on the same path as you or have already gone down the path that you're going through is very, very important to being successful. And you have to think of it like this. Do you want to continue hanging out with the people that aren't on the same path as you and aren't going in the same direction as you because you're afraid of hurting their feelings? Do you care more about their feelings or do you care more about yourself? Like, are you willing to sacrifice your future and the goals that you have at the cost of hanging out with people that you're afraid to maybe upset or maybe afraid to never hang out or talk to again like is is your future less important than those people because by prioritizing those people and not letting those people go on their own path and wishing them well and like you don't have to wish bad upon them you don't have to have negative energy towards them or get into a fight with them or anything like that you just you like you go your own way you you know you you have to focus on what's going to benefit your future because at the end of the day nobody's going to care as much as you yourself watching this video not your parents not your husband or wife or your girlfriend or boyfriend or kids nobody is ever going to care about us as much as ourselves so if we don't take care of ourselves and we don't make ourselves a priority nobody else ever will and at the end of the day you just won't you won't go down the path that you want. You won't achieve the things that you want to. You'll be discouraged. You'll go back to old bad habits. You'll go back to old uh, groups of friends or old exes, ex-girlfriends, ex-boyfriends, ex-husbands, ex-wives, whatever the case is that didn't serve you in the way that you wanted to, but you find comfort in those things. You find comfort in those places, those people, those things. You have attachments to them. And instead of just releasing them and, and knowing that their experiences and that they were part of your journey and part of your path to becoming the person and the individual that you want to be <clears throat> based on the goals that you have it's a lot easier for us to go back into old habits and bad habits as opposed to sticking with good ones no matter how hard they are like it wasn't easy locking myself in a room and not having pretty much human communication with anybody outside of the people that i lived with it wasn't easy um, sitting in front of a computer screen for 10 to 18 or 16 or 20 hours some days or some days without sleep there would be like three or four days that I would go without sleep and then eventually it would catch up to me and I'd literally have a mental breakdown but that was just part of my journey right that's something that I had to go through those are lessons I had to go through and had I not separated myself from that group of people both groups of people had I not put all that energy back to myself had I not stopped wasting time doing things that weren't bringing me closer to my end goal of where I wanted to be in life I wouldn't even be making this video that I am today you guys and girls none of you would know who I am none of you would be inspired by these videos none of you would be motivated to to better yourselves by these videos if I didn't take that leap to do that right so that leap that decision to to people ask how do you cut off people that are negative or people that aren't good for you you just cut them off like there's no easy way to do it it's going to be hard but as time goes on it'll be easier because you're going to see results 
that come from what the decision you made, right? There's going to be results. If you're putting in the work, if you cut off a group of people and you're putting in the work, you're going to see results probably maybe some people longer than others, but you will see results at some point in time in your fitness or your mental health or with your craft or your business, whatever it is that you're doing, you will see results down the road. And then you're going to look back and be like, oh damn, like, wow, you know what? That sacrifice was really good because you at the end of the day, you have to sacrifice. If you haven't watched my sacrifice episode, go back and watch it. But you have to sacrifice to get the life you want. You have to sacrifice people, places, things to be able to move forward. You have to sacrifice temporarily to get that extra leap forward, to take that extra step forward, to push yourself that little extra bit forward. And by doing that, you're going to jump leaps and bounds faster than you could have ever imagined. So I hope that this inspires you to make changes. I hope that this inspires you to make sure you're surrounded by either nobody or at least good energy and good company. Even if it's just people virtually, people you connect with that resonate with you on social media, whatever the case is, just make sure that you have good energy around you. Make sure that if you have bad energy, you get rid of it. And it's better to be in your own company and your own energy than to be with bad and uh, bad energy or people that just aren't on the same path as you. So I hope that this video, this vlog helped you guys. I love you guys. I hope you are staying well. Thank you for joining me on another Monday vlog. Talk to you soon. Peace.